G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Sunday lunchtime here in Australia, market hovering around 7 point, kind of 6, 7.7 .7 trillion dollar mark, so up ever so slightly, but really just kind of a little bit of sideways movement at the moment. Bitcoin dominance holding above that 40%, volumes down, again it's the weekend, not to be completely unexpected, but that can change and all of a sudden volume comes in quite heavily. And Bitcoin price, very interesting, 37,000, starting to get up around the 38,000. Will it hold? ETH gas prices are down $4, quite cheap, looking nice. All right, so what I'm going to do is follow on from yesterday. And again, I'm going to show you all the coins that are, I have uh, purchased and in the order of the weight that they hold. Uh, so if you watched my video yesterday, uh, you'll know, and this is a continuation on from then. But first, let's have a look at the markets. What's done well in the last 24 hours? Right, Flow's done well, Arweave, Engine, The Sand, uh, Axie Infinity, Convex Finance, double digit gains, which is nice considering the market's not even up 1%. And then we got some nice single digit gains. And any gain's a good gain. We'll take those any day over a loss. What about losses though? What hasn't performed as well in the top 100? All right, bat down a little bit, 5%, so 5 point, you know, let's say 5% is the worst loss. So really the losses are quite small, but they're still losses. And if you bought ICP at three, $400, uh, you're really hurting again. So this is why I try and tell people, just be very, very careful about what you put your money into and going you know, too heavy into any one thing. When you start throwing all your money into just one thing, that's when you're asking for trouble. You really got to spread it out over a few different things. But any, that's, you know, my personal opinion. Uh, you know, I can't offer you financial advice, but that would be one of the closest things I'd say to financial advice is don't put all your eggs in one basket. You're asking for trouble. Now, some people have gone all in in crypto and, you know, each to their own. But if you do that, find some different things don't just you know go all in on one crypto because if it doesn't do well and everything else does well then you're hurting whereas if you've got a bit of a mixed basket doing better but even then you know be careful with everything uh, in just crypto as well because crypto is super volatile and if you can't handle the ups and downs then you probably just get wrecked and get out anyway but let's move on bitcoin here's the chart so far this little graph of mine is holding true we have found a bottom and we've bounced up pretty hard from there now we're just waiting to see if it's going to hold or is this possibly going to roll over the good thing is we broke above this little box here so 37 kind of thousand nice now we're up to nearly 38,000. i'm not going to be like extremely confident that we're back in the bull market until we break here. This is really where we got to break. So we've got a long way to go. We've got to get above 53,000. So really I'm looking for this now. All right, can we get above 40,000, let's say 600? Can we then get above 42,000, let's say kind of 250? Can we get above 46,360 dollars? Can we then get above forty-seven thousand, sort of eight hundred dollars? Can we then get above fifty-one thousand, you know, and sort of ten dollars? So this is the kind of things that I'm looking at. We've got a long way to go, ladies and gentlemen, before I'm, you know, really convinced that we're out of the the downtrend because this can easily come up to any of these levels and then just roll over, and then it's still a lower low. We've set in a lower low, whatever this possible low low is here, and then another lower low. So we've got a long way to go, but at least it's looking okay at the moment. This could have been the bottom. I said this ages ago. This was the CME gap. After this, you really got to start going down to the $20,000, $24,000 range before there's any kind of CME gaps that haven't been filled. And that just, I'm not sure we're going to get back down there at the moment, but it could be wrong. So I'm holding tight. All right. Link was my next biggest uh, position in crypto. So again, here's the dollar value. We can see it's bounced off here a lot of times. So this looks like a pretty good line to kind of hold. It's been resistance as well. Link looks like it's been an accumulation for a really long time since August 2020, basically. It dipped down, got above, come back, bounced. And again, look where we are right now. Just, you can't make this stuff up. It looks like it's at a pretty good point uh, at the moment. Now, never financial advice, you do, your, you know, you make your own mind up and again, do your own research. But on the dollar value, it looks really good. Looks like it's quite undervalued and has been undervalued for a while. But this line might have to change. In the future, we might have to move it to this. 
Still looks like it's undervalued at the moment, but again, things could change. We'll have to wait and see, but I just like it where I was. Basically, sort of in here, I think is the best indicative, uh, indication, sorry, not indicative, indication of roughly what the fair price should be because it's bounced from around here many times. So at the moment, it looks undervalued, but again, this may have to change in the future. We'll wait and see. How's it performing against Ethereum? It's looking very interesting. It may never come back down to these levels against Ethereum again. Because every time you get a coin that's down lower than uh, ones above it, the chances are that if it does well, it's going to outperform the ones above it. And it'll slowly make its way up. But then the ones below it that do really well and maybe better than it outperform that as well. So that's what you need to remember. The big gains come from going down uh, the market cap, but they get super risky. So you've got to ask yourself, is the risk, uh, you know, worth the squeeze and all the rest of it? Uh yeah, I rarely ever go outside the top 100 and I don't think I've ever really gone outside the 200 except for maybe two or three occasions. I like to just focus on the top 100 uh, and just kind of stick with that. That's me though. But at the moment, the dollar value looks good. Ethereum, it's in my, this is really the consideration. This is where I go right here because we saw it get a bounce from here and then it pumped up. So I was like, right here, really? This is looking where somewhere I've got to start paying attention again. Not necessarily buying, but pay attention. If it gets down to here, we've got confluence here. This is where I really need to start looking at buying and have a look what it did. Bounced off it. Come back up, make another move, and now consolidating. It may well come down here, ladies and gentlemen. But at the moment, it's looking like it's not a bad buy. Not the best buy, not the worst buy. The worst buy is, you know, when you're buying it up here, but it's looking okay. So the dollar, good. Link uh, against uh, Ethereum, not too bad. What about Bitcoin? Same sort of thing. Again, I've had these charts for ages. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen them. I don't just make these charts up for you five seconds before. I've had these in for a long time. So again, this is where I'd be really interested to be buying Link. It may never get back there. Definitely down here somewhere is of great interest for me, but it may never get back down there. So what we can see is we had a lot of confluence here. So I was like, radio, this is really, hey, start paying attention if we get down here. But again, it may never have got back down there. So then we had this. And then again, we had this fall through and it bounced off here after I'd put this line in. I didn't put this line in after this. This was done long before. And then again, now it's bouncing around. So at the moment, it's finding support. Look, it may come down to here. It may come down to here possibilities it comes all the way down to here but at the moment dollar looking interesting ethereum looking interesting and against bitcoin again looking interesting not saying it's the best buy it's time to jump in but i've got three charts that are saying hey this might not be a bad time to buy some so from there i then need to go look at all the other sorts of things what's happening around the world is you know the financial space in a good position a bad position indecision indecision is really where it is at the moment so just looking and if i was to make a position in chain link right now i've already got a position but if i was to make a bigger position i would just be chipping away at it ever so slowly waiting to see if it goes down we've got to wait for that market you know to decide which way it's going because at the moment we're still in a downtrend and again we go back to bitcoin yeah it's good we've had this bounce but we've had the bounce before 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 we are still in a downtrend and now at the moment we've just found our way back into this falling wedge which may continue to go lower so keep that in mind all right polka dot this is very interesting again against the dollar this is its average kind of mean price and again you can move this a little bit and go no it really should be up there okay maybe it needs to be up there it means it's even further undervalued and then you're like not nah, really this is better okay it's even further undervalued or maybe you go not nah, this is probably better or maybe even something like this maybe i'm just going to kind of go where i get the most amount of touch points roughly sort of somewhere around about here it says it's undervalued being trading sideways in a range god since what's that January 2021, for a year, it's been ranging on the dollar and currently is on the lower end of this as well. So very interesting. All right, how's it performing against Ethereum? This is traditionally the low. When you start getting dot down here against Ethereum, 
you're getting it at bargain basement prices. Now, it has fallen below a couple of times. These are the abnormalities at the moment. That may change. This may be the true bottom. But at the moment, look where it is. It's on this line. So for me, it says that DOT is looking really good against Ethereum at the moment. And it's looking pretty good against the dollar. All right, what else? How's it looking against Bitcoin? Against Bitcoin, still up fairly high, but we may never see DOT come down to these levels again outside of a bear market. And maybe we're in one. We'll have to wait and see. But at the moment, I've got two charts that says it looks uh, quite good and one other chart that says it's at least just kind of interesting at the moment. We can see it's bounced around here a few times. So this is where you got to look at it. And if you somehow get it down here, this is really extreme lows. And we can see it had a lot of confluence here as well. And it's below that at the moment. So at the moment, I think DOT looks all right. But again, take it into consideration with all the other things that are happening in the world, political, financial, you know, all that kind of stuff. It all plays a part in how you make your decision. I just think from the charts at the moment, it looks quite nice. As, be as good as it can be, no, but it looks nice. So I, again, same thing with Link. If I was going to make another position in it, and I've already got positions in all of these, is I'm only going to start chipping away at it ever so slightly because I still don't know where the market's going just yet. We could be going way lower and then that is a really bad time to be throwing too much money in. But looks interesting. VeChain, I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. Okay, VeChain, it's been in consolidation since February 2020, 21. So basically a full year nearly. Just chopping and changing in this range, it had a fake out. Again, why you got to be careful. You know, breakout trades can be good, but they don't always kind of play out. They can, but yeah again not always because again you could do another box down here and then if you got the breakout trade from here well then it was great we've never come back down to those levels really chopped around and gone higher but this one at the moment all over the place and v chain at five cents looking interesting not to say it can't go lower but definitely looking interesting how's it looking against ethereum even more interesting when you're getting v chain down here it is traditionally really good times versus Ethereum. You buy it down here and Ethereum and everything could run, but then eventually it will start to outpace Ethereum. And as long as you look at these charts and go, rightio, when it starts to get to areas like around about here, I should probably consider taking some profits. I don't have to take a lot. I can just take some, put it back into Ethereum, put it back into Bitcoin, put it back into US dollars, whatever you want to do. But this is usually the indication of, right, maybe a good time to take some profits. Because again, imagine taking profits here and you took all your profits and then it falls down. You think, yeah, I got this right. And then it does that. Again, I'm not going to offer you financial advice. That's just my opinion on a financial kind of aspect, not advice. So for me, it is looking like it's a really good buy on the dollar. It's looking like it's a really good buy against Ethereum. How's it? going up against Bitcoin. Something fairly similar. Bitcoin's a bit different because it's had this weird low down here, but this may just be an anomaly. This may be the true bottom. But again, I had this line in here because this is where we've had some confluence. It's bounced around here. So it says, hey, if we get down here versus Bitcoin, start having a look. Now I've got three charts that are saying, hey, things are looking quite nice. Again, no guarantees that it means it's all going up from here. But I just think at the moment VeChain is looking like it's a pretty good buy if you think it's a time to buy. And I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying, again, if I was going to build another position in VeChain, now's definitely a time where I'd start looking. But just DCAing dollar cost average in because it might phew, go all the way down here again. We'll have to wait and see. But again, if it does end up down here, that could simply be because Bitcoin has got on a run and you haven't necessarily lost any dollar value. You just would have been better putting your money in Bitcoin. So you need to remember that. All right, Engine, my biggest kind of gaming metaverse play. Again, against the dollar, it gets in these accumulation, has a move. Accumulation has a move. But we already looked at breakouts sometimes. Imagine here, you go, yep, this is the breakout, this is it. Ah! 
as long as you didn't panic sell and hold, then you've done all right. But a lot of people would panic sell and hold. Uh, sorry, would panic sell and then lose money. If they just held, doing quite nice. But here we can see big accumulation again. Looks like it's undervalued against the dollar. It is just on the lower half at the moment. There's no guarantees we'll come back down here again. This could be the point where it now makes its way out uh, and breaks out of the top and goes you know, to the moon, as they say. Or this could be the point where it rolls over and we have to come back down and test levels like this again, maybe even levels like this again. Absolutely possible. Just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying that's what it's going to do. It's just a consideration. But dollar-wise, looks like it's not too bad and undervalued. How's it going against Ethereum? Still up against Ethereum. But again, all the coins that you're getting into that are below Ethereum and Bitcoin, if they do well, they will outpace Ethereum. The higher up you go, kind of the safer the bet. They can still have great moves to the upside against the dollar, but there just might be other things outperforming it. Now, I'm not saying go way down the list and get the most riskiest, craziest stuff. I'm definitely not saying that. I'm just saying, excuse me, if you can find good projects, and they've got to be good projects, which is hard to know sometimes, further down the list, they're likely to have bigger returns, but they're also straight up more risky. So keep that in mind. So the dollar looks really good. Ethereum doesn't look as good, but maybe we're never going to see uh, engine back down here again. Possibility. What about against Bitcoin? Something fairly similar. Looks quite high against Bitcoin. Doesn't mean it's dollar value. Like if this dumps all the way down to here, that could simply be because Bitcoin just got up and went on a mad run. Your dollar value in engine is still held. You were just better off putting your money into Bitcoin and waiting for this to level out. So they're all the things you got to work out. So engine, definitely against the dollar, looking quite nice, like big accumulation right here. Ethereum, a little bit high. So you make your decision. And then Bitcoin, a little bit high as well. But the whole gaming space and all the rest of it is really kind of taking off and we're having a lull and, you know, the metaverse is going everywhere. And engine, it's more gaming, but also NFTs and we'll still have things to do with the metaverse. So this still could be uh, a good price. I, I don't know about that. I like the dollar value. I just don't know if I like the BTC and Ethereum value. But again, you can just say not the dollar value is good enough uh, if you're happy with that. But again, Please look at what else is going on around the world. You can't simply look at a chart and go, that tells me it's good, because it doesn't. Sometimes it, uh, again, here's a breakout trade. We had this, you know, kind of rise, uh, not rising wedge, we had a, a flag here. Got the breakout and you're probably thinking, yeah, oh my God, I just got killed. And, you know, if you held, all good. But if you didn't and you panicked, well, then you probably got wrecked. So nothing is a guarantee. Ave, my DeFi blue chip other than sort of synthetics and really I, I think Aave is the blue chip just I put more money into synthetics uh, early on it has got to a price I was always uh, uh, not always saying but I said I really like uh, Aave at around a hundred and sort of fifty nine hundred and sixty nine dollars if it gets down to there I'd be buying it and look where it is now. I am buying Aave at the moment. I'm not backing up the truck and throwing all the money at it, ladies and gentlemen. It could go lower. We may have to come down to here. We might have to go to 120. We might have to come down to 90. We may have to come down to $60 before the bottom is. I don't know. But $150 compared to $600 and basically $30. It's at a huge discount. Aave is doing all the things it can to, you know, get green lit with uh, Aave Arc and KYC and all the rest of it. All the banks and that, they are going to be seeking yield. They can't do it naturally. They will come to DeFi, but we don't have the regulation yet. We've got to wait and see. So my bet is 